precisely exact amount, okay? Welcome back, or honey I roam. My name's Amber, Juliet is my partner, and our dog Winston live in this truck camper that we renovated. We've been traveling the country for almost four years now. We've gone cross country from California to Florida, almost everywhere in between. Whoop, stepped on a rock. started the morning by sleeping in and relaxing. We slept until like 8.30 and we have this beautiful, wonderful tree-filled campground to wake up to. Winston's sniffing around right now. We're leaving Riverbend on the Frio in a couple days, so this is going to be a totally relaxing camping day. We're going to take you along with us. Having new adventures always has new issues and problems. For instance, when I went to film this, the battery was dead and we had to switch. Although things can seem seamless, there's hurdles with everything. It can be emotionally draining to, to do all of this and to live this way. I wanted to try something that can calm my nerves but also keep me focused because we're gonna have to be working for ourselves right now. We have a whole month where we're not gonna be having any income. So we have to be self-motivated. We have to reach out to companies. We have to have confidence. We have to create our own schedules. And when no one's telling you what to do, you have to do it yourself. Magic Mind sent us some productivity shots and I'm gonna do a seven day challenge to see how my mental clarity is after all of it. Magic Mind really needs at least three to four days for all of the ingredients to work effectively. So I'm gonna give it seven days right now and tell you how this journey goes. With no further ado, let's drink this Magic Mind. Mm. I love the taste of it just as it is. I don't need to mix any oat milk with it. I just put it in the refrigerator first because it does have to be cold for me to like it. 
I really enjoy the passion fruit flavor, so I'm not trying to rush it. Included in the 12 ingredients in Magic Mind are 100% of your daily vitamin C and D. Some of the benefits that they have, there are nootropics in here that helps with focus. There's matcha, which is that natural energy. The thing about coffee and all the caffeine for me is I'll have a crash right afterwards. But with this, I've noticed that I don't. I feel that Ooh, I'm with it, I'm clear, but at the end, I don't feel tired. All of the ingredients are third-party tested, and they're all the best ingredients that they could find. The matcha is actually ceremonial grade, the best quality on the market, and the caffeine is the matcha, and it's time release. So it's not a huge bam all at once, it's progressive throughout your day. The mushrooms that they use in Magic Mind are all organically grown in California, and over 200 scientists tested all of the ingredients that are in this that really gives me peace of mind for sure they went through countless formulas to get this formula right seven day update been drinking it every day I've been feeling clear focused been getting my work done editing videos being more creative than I ever was before if you want to try magic mind we're gonna put a discount code right here you get 56% off your first subscription and there's no risk if you try this and for any reason you don't like magic mind you can get a 100% refund for 100 days. Some frozen bananas, because that's all that we have left as far as fruit goes. We only have a couple days left here at Riverbend on the Frio. We just don't want to get a bunch of groceries. So. so we're eating what we got. We usually always have Winston with us and we always know where he is. No matter what, he'll come whenever we blow a whistle. Well, just now, I said, where's Winston? She said, I thought you had Winston. No, I thought you had we Winston. We couldn't find him anywhere and we have a whistle. He's whistle trained. So whenever we blow it, no matter what, he knows he's gonna get a treat. So he will come running. Well, we're blowing the whistle, nothing. Well, Julieta remembers that 15 minutes ago, she opened the truck doors. Well, Winston loves the truck. So we looked in the truck. There he was. We're always making something out of nothing. We went to the grocery store almost two weeks ago to the day, and we have not had to go back. We did it. We did it. We're doing it. We have two more days here at Riverbend, and we're actually getting to treat this like most people do whenever they come, like a, a vacation. We're getting to enjoy the river. There's some protein pancakes with peanut butter, frozen bananas, and some granola and honey. Mm. <laughs> is this that new brand or is this the Kodiak? We've been prepping everything that we need to for this huge journey that we're gonna go on. We ordered some last minute parts. Julia to fix something on the propane that needed to be fixed. We've been doing all of our laundry, made our bed, all fresh sheets. We've been getting, what, did, what else? We got more propane today. We are gonna have to drive a bit out of the way to go to one real grocery store before we go into the boondocks in the middle of nowhere with all small markets. We do love supporting local, but we're gonna do one more, one more mainstream store. You know I gotta hit up a HEB before we can't anymore. <laughs> going back up to make my last So clear. Getting pushed out. Thought I heard it so. Love I need this town. Head out west, they say. Made the California. Leave this dead land behind. So long on the home. I think they say.
can't stand Gonna cut it down With my own two hands Tall timber falling I hear Tulsa calling Saying this video has been something that we felt like we needed for ourselves. We hope it's something that you needed too. A challenge for me is to not talk. I have a tendency to fill the void with things that I have to say. I just want to spend this next chapter of time in our lives absorbing more and taking things in and not always needing to fill the space. This time has been the beginning of all of that. Someone knows it's time to leave. He's ready. All our stuff is gone, packed up. You wanna leave in like 30 minutes? Yes, let's go. Okay, we're gonna be heading out on our grand adventure out west. Today we're gonna be taking it easy because we don't really wanna drive very far. We have to run a lot of errands. We need to go to the last major grocery stores in our area before we're gonna head further out west. We're gonna go to some really cool little towns, see some beautiful sights. We don't wanna miss a thing. Someone is ready to go. Look at this boy. No, not yet, because you're gonna be sitting in the truck by yourself. Okay, let me get your bed fixed. We packed up the truck. We have quite a few more items than when we arrived with because we're preparing for Colorado. We needed to order a few things online for our Colorado off-grid work camping job. That's right, we're gonna be living and working in Colorado off-grid. We are gonna have a water tank, but there's not gonna be like water hookups. See those in the back of the golf cart right there? Yeah, we went tubing yesterday. Maya, my little sister, came and visited us from San Antonio, and we just relaxed in the river, barbecued with the owners, hung out, and just had a nice, slow day. We've taken a pause from filming just to enjoy these little moments of a life. I want to show you this well. This well has been here for, I think, since the 60s and no one's ever been able to see it because it's just this hole that goes on forever and ever in the ground but now they have set it up so i can show you what this is like it's a little bit scary for me look at this ah! should i step on it i'm going to oh my gosh look at this well It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's just wonderful to have all this pristine nature and wildlife all around us. So it's really cool when they can restore things like that well house. We're packing up. Everything's almost done. Uh, our whole setup here, it was our home for a couple of weeks, is now back in our truck. Last thing we have to do is return our golf cart, which has been amazing to have. We're throwing away some trash. Julieta's making a cup of coffee. I had my lemon water. I'm just excited all over again. Plus our truck is excited to get moving. This pollen has started sticking to it and this is me hosing it off a few times already. <music> I don't know. You wanna go see? It says open. This little convenience store has been here since 1922 and you can tell. This looks like completely untouched. <clears throat> there are peacocks and chickens outside. The gas pumps are original. I don't even think that they sell gas. I bet it's gonna be, we'll just say authentic go in back. here. This is a local staple. It's called the Garvin Store. It's been here since 1922. They're famous for their beef jerky. Here we go. <laughs> so I just got some hot beef jerky, <clears throat> some honey beef jerky. They also have more exotic jerky over here. We got elk, buffalo, venison 
honey smoked turkey. This is the shirt Julieta just got. Long sleeve shirt. Ooh. Garvin store. Okay, so this is gonna try it first. Ready? Mmm. I love it. Oh my gosh. So good. After probably five hours of stops and adventure, we made it to our very first campsite. This is the state park. It's 80 degrees even around 9 p.m. and we really wanted to have an air conditioner. We just decided it's 30 bucks a night, we're gonna get a campsite. We actually drove about 45 minutes out of our way to go to the last big grocery store that we're gonna have access to for a long time. You know we love an H-E-B, their tortillas, I'm not, not not gonna have them we just spent it was two hundred and two dollars at the grocery store we got all the toiletries we needed lots of groceries things that will last for as long as possible now we haven't put anything away we actually did our laundry today too we have to put all that up so we're gonna spend this first part of camp getting situated and organized some people don't like doing laundry and I just don't understand that because anytime I have access to a washer and dryer, I am so happy to have clean clothes that I don't mind doing it at all. Juliet's favorite shirt right here. Look at this. Holes everywhere you can see and it's her favorite. Whenever I get a hole in my shirt, I usually retire it, donate it, make it into something else, like a rag. Not Julieta, she just loves this shirt so much. And you know, I love that about her. It's like, you like what you like. Actually, my dad is exactly the same way. I'm, I'm used to it, I've grown up with it. So whenever I see this, see this about her, you know, I attempt to get her another one that she loves just as much, but it's never exactly the same. Do you embrace the holes in your clothes or do you let them go? Let us know in the comments. Whenever we get bananas, I always get one bunch that's kind of green and one bunch that's really yellow. They ripen really fast and then I freeze the ones that are really ripe. And I'm taking the reins today, it's time to cook. The ingredients are simple today. I'm gonna start with garlic and ginger, chop it up fine, and I always use fresh. Mince it up, mince it up really small. I'm just gonna fry it up in the pan, get those smells smelling. As far as vegetables, I say use whatever you have in the refrigerator. A lot of people use bok choy. I didn't have that and I didn't have carrots, so I'm just gonna use some frozen broccoli and I had some frozen corn. It'll do. I think it's gonna storm. It hasn't stormed in so long. I'm actually excited. Our sauce is gonna be really simple. Some ingredients that you may or may not have. I had to get miso paste. I didn't have any. I'm also gonna use some creamy nut butter, better than bouillon, and coconut milk. Just half a can. I don't know how I'm gonna store the other half a can, but that's just problems of life on the road. I'll figure it out, okay? I'll figure it out. And I'm not gonna use measuring cups either. I'm just gonna do a big heaping spoonful and hope it comes out that much, that precisely exact amount, okay? I love everything miso. I feel like it makes it seem fancy and restaurant-like. So I'm gonna learn some more recipes. Okay, now what? Turn my stove down. I almost put this, it's a habit that I'm, when I'm cooking, I just put it right in my mouth, but that probably would have been really concentrated. Oh shoot, too high, okay. Oh my gosh. Are you doing okay? I'm doing wonderful. I think that was half. As I'm making this recipe, Julieta walked in and I was like, oh, I didn't do tofu or chicken or any sort of protein and she gave me the look like, How'd you forget the main ingredient? I genuinely overlook those ingredients quite often because to me, it's not the main. I was excited about the veggies and the noodles, but I totally get it. My plan was to do tofu, but since I'm so far into the recipe, luckily we have some grilled chicken from last night. There we go. There we go. Damn, make girl happy. Everybody's happy. Who doesn't want some protein in their food? <laughs> I know, I know, it's just me. Since the chicken's already cooked, I'm just gonna throw it in the water because the noodles are almost done. It's just gonna heat it up on its own. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, this is me picking out the individual chicken. 
of our leftovers. I need some chicken. <laughs> she does. My girl and my boy, Winston, need chicken. I won't leave you hanging. Winston, don't you love chicken? Look at that. Look at that creaminess. Yum. Mm-mm. Babe, so creamy. Oh my goodness, so creamy. You get a piece of chicken and a corn. It's a little bit of ramen. Chicken and a corn and I don't care. It's so rich. Tasty. Mm. I would order this. Mm-hmm, 100%. It's so good.